Lois Lane is a character that I always thought was cool, but from a distance, and that's probably on purpose. Sure, she's a journalist from the Daily Planet, and her husband is Superman slash Clark Kent, and I really had no reason to care beyond that. But all of that changed thanks to the recent miniseries that launched earlier this year. And man, look, you already read the title, so let's not waste any more time, and let's talk about how much this Lois Lane comic book slaps. If this is your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you're always in the loop whenever I drop new videos. Also, I just want to give a shout out to my future sponsor, Bacardi. Do what moves you. Bacardi sure as hell does move me, and if you're going out this weekend, please be sure to have some Bacardi and enjoy it responsibly. Thank you. In a universe that's currently engulfed in the Justice Doom War, Lois Lane is a breath of fresh air. This title, written by Greg Rucka, gives readers a real-world perspective into the complex, yet dangerous world of journalism in the eyes of Lois Lane. If you assume that Lois Lane's world, outside of mingling with superheroes, is boring, psh, your perspective will definitely change. The murder of a fellow journalist is what serves as the premise for the story, and Lois Lane wastes no time trying to get to the bottom of it, and even hires the question to help her. As Lois Lane works to solve the mystery behind the murder, Greg Rucker showcases the different characteristics of her profession in a manner that's informative, easy to follow, and adds to the story. Lois Lane also isn't afraid to tackle more controversial and familiar issues, such as government corruption. As a subplot, it further highlights just how passionate Lois Lane is about getting the truth out. It also serves as a haunting reminder that humans in power are just as spineless and evil as their super-powered counterparts. Thanks to the recent events of Superman and action comics, which you can both skip, Rucka does a great job of giving it a lowdown on Lois Lane's personal life and builds on that, which really helps someone like me gain a better understanding and appreciation of her. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Superman, he does show up, but it's very minimal. Rest assured, Lois Lane is still the main star of the series. The art by Mike Perkins is what really brings his comic book to life. His gritty style flows flawlessly with the heavy subject matters that Rucka tackles in Lois Lane. The characters, setting, and the action scenes are all presented in a realistic yet dark manner that grabs you from the start to the end of each issue. We're not even close to the end of this 12 issue run, but I'm already looking forward to a future collaboration between the two. If you're looking for a more mature, real life take on the DC Universe, then check out Lois Lane. If you thought that Lois Lane was nothing more than Superman's love interest, Oh, most definitely go check out Lois Lane. I'm five issues in, and I can tell you now that it's my top three favorite comic books right now. I have a newfound appreciation for Lois Lane as a solo character, as well as how important journalism is as a profession. It's a shame that this title is only a monthly series, but that should give you more than enough time to go hunt down these issues or find a trade. Lois Lane has my seal of approval, therefore it slaps. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Also check out my Twitter, my Instagram, and my brand new blog that I just launched. And also feel free to check out my other videos on my channel. Wolf Queen out.